So you're thinking of moving to Berkeley County. You're not alone. Berkeley County has become increasingly popular lately with its growing job force, affordable housing options, and plentiful outdoor recreation opportunities. If you want to know if Berkeley County is a place where you'd be comfortable living, the best way to find out is to visit, go to local restaurants, go to parks, and get a really good feel for the place. Of course, that kind of visit may take some time to plan, so in the meantime, we're going to share with you our take on the pros, the cons of the area, and then discuss some of the best places to live in Berkeley County. And whenever you're ready to come for a visit, send us a message and we can share our guide for the top 10 places to visit to get to know the area on your own. Berkeley County covers 321 square miles and a population of over 122,000 people as of the 2022 census. Nestled in the embrace of the Shenandoah Valley and the Appalachian Mountains, Berkeley County is a portrait of scenic beauty. Places like Sleepy Creek Wildlife Management Area with over 20,000 acres of preserved forest offer an escape into nature that's hard to find elsewhere. Side note, Morgan County is also included in it. That's why it's so big. <laughs> the county is a mix of rural pastures and beautifully preserved historic homes with a growing urban district centered around Martinsburg. I just love the variety here. Within one day, you can go shopping, grab a nice lunch in downtown Martinsburg, and then in 25 minutes, you can be in Stauffer's Marsh Nature Preserve for a nature walk and some bird watching. It's the best of both worlds for me. Tons of nature, but modern conveniences within reach. And let's not forget the affordability of living here, which has led to much growth in the area. In an era where your dollar needs to stretch further, Berkeley County offers a sanctuary with its affordable housing. The options for homes here are pretty diverse too. You've got everything from historic homes in Martinsburg to the more modern developments in suburban areas. While home values have been on the rise, they're still more affordable compared to the large cities nearby. But it's not just about the cost, it's about the quality of life. The growing economy here fueled by tech and manufacturing brings a vibrancy and a slew of job opportunities. We're hearing more often lately from listeners relocating to Berkeley County for work. True, but no place is without its challenges. The strain on infrastructure from rapid growth is a concern. Traffic congestion is becoming more noticeable, and there's a pressing need for expanded services. All the new homes built recently have put more pressure on the water systems, removed many trees as well. The loss of green spaces is concerning to many. On the lighter side, that small town community feel that persists in places like Hedgesville and Gerardstown is irreplaceable. There's a sense of belonging that larger cities just can't offer. But one thing you might miss if you're relocating from a metropolitan area is public transportation. The limited options available here mean you definitely need a car to get around. Yep, those day trips to nearby major cities are doable from Berkeley County, however. If you have friends or family nearby or you just wanna get out and explore, you're in luck. Outside of rush hour, you can get to DC or Baltimore in about an hour and a half from Martinsburg. You can also head south on 81 to get to Frederick County in Virginia, and then you're a short drive north to the Maryland and Pennsylvania borders. At the end of the day, this is an area poised for future growth. The population increased over 6% between 2020 and 2022, and the demand seems to be growing even more. Investing in Berkeley County sooner than later may be a great idea, whether you're buying a home for yourself or a rental property. Just keep in mind that the best payoffs in real estate investing come from long-term investments. Markets go up and down in cycles in the short term, but tend to trend up over time. With how affordable Berkeley County is, some may be able to afford to move to a new home a little faster and turn their first home into a rental. This is the ideal way to invest in real estate since you can benefit from a lower interest rate when you buy your home as a primary residence. Before we move on, it would mean so much to us if you would leave us a comment or like our video if you're enjoying it so far. Or if you're ready to hit the pavement and start getting to know Berkeley County and seeing some homes, just send us a message. Right now, if we're talking best places to live, Martinsburg stands out for its urban vibe and historic downtown. It's the heart of Berkeley County, though you might pay a bit more for that convenience. While Martinsburg is often highlighted for its urban charm, it's also where you'll find the hustle and bustle that some might want to escape from. Martinsburg has the highest concentration of people with a population of 18,000 and also the most homes sold in the last year at 1,161. The average home price here was around $300,000 for the last year. That number is slightly lower because there are more townhouses and smaller homes here. If we break this number down to just detached homes, the averages remain similar at 317,000. However, prices can rise pretty quickly with 50 homes selling from 500,000 to over 800,000 last year. Next, there's Hedgesville and the surrounding communities sharing the 25427 zip code. In the past year alone, over 35% of the home sales were attributed to new construction in the multiple listing service. From our experience, this may not even include all the new construction sales as sometimes these sales go unreported in the MLS. 
If new construction isn't something you mind, Hedgesville is just 13 miles east of Berkeley Springs, so you'll have the shortest commute to the hot springs from here. Your average home price for the last year was around 320,000, with 389 homes sold total. Falling Waters is another spot that's hard to overlook. Its history and natural beauty, especially the waterfall, are remarkable. Though be prepared for that steep path. Yeah, don't go in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> it's a larger town of about 2,000 people located along Interstate 81 and the Potomac River. The average home price in the last year was $297,000 with 292 homes sold. Moving on next to Inwood, people find that it's great for families. If you look at reviews online for the town itself, there's a mix of attractions that are family friendly in the area. It's got a fresh, vibrant feel, it's slightly larger in area with around 3,000 people. The average home price was slightly higher here at $313,000 with 293 homes that sold in the last year. And then last stop is Gerardstown. It's rich history and well-preserved buildings give it a charm that's tough to beat, making it a well-kept secret worth exploring. Some people say going there is just like stepping back in time. And while the historical significance might appeal to history buffs, it's not necessarily the best fit for those looking for modern amenities. The population is slightly higher here at around 4,000. Many of the original buildings have been preserved and date back to the 1800s and early 1900s. Just be warned, if you want to renovate a historic property, there may be extra requirements. And costs. Yes. The average home here was the highest of all five at 348,000, with the least number of homes sold at only 64. So be warned, if you want to move to Gerardstown, don't wait to see that home that you love that comes up for sale, because there won't be too many other options that come up this year. Each area in Berkeley County offers something unique, but it's about matching your lifestyle to the locale. Whether it's the scenic tranquility of Hedgesville or the bustling community vibe of Martinsburg, there's a place for everyone. If you wanna compare Berkeley County with nearby Jefferson County, be sure to check out our walking and driving tour of Charlestown to get to know one of the most popular destinations in Jefferson County. See you next time.